what we like That's how we live some nights They want a three-peat hood That's what we like I'm back with another video So you know what that means I'm seven months post-op And I didn't lose one pound The whole month of January <laughs> I did not lose one pound it sounds so crazy to say out loud, I have less than half of a year before I'm at my one year mark. I'm still the same weight. I hit a stall. I'm broken. I'm going back to Mexico. I'm broken. No, I'm kidding. Um, It's normal. People hit stalls all the time. This isn't my first stall. I had a stall in um October. And then in November, like I just picked right back up and start losing weight again. And I'm just like, uh kind of annoying but whatever um this video is going to be more about the internal feels emotions uh other things that i've been experiencing with my sleeve i'm healthy i look good i feel good and the most beautiful part about that is i'm already a super overzealous person i'm really just like you know i have a natural lust for life so me having a natural lust for life and then knowing that I look like like that on top of it is like the lust for life is just like to the 10th power like I'm extra happy I'm extra supportive I'm extra me like everything is just like Courtney to the 10th power everything is just just beautiful and you know I deserve that and I know I deserve that and it feels good to see myself in the mirror now actually looking how I felt like I looked. I was telling my best friend last week, like, it's crazy that I'm looking at myself in the mirror now. And I'm like, damn, this is what I thought I was looking like for the past, like, three, four years. Like, I always saw myself like this. Like, that's where the com the confidence comes into play, right? When you genuinely do love who you are on the inside. It's like, you know, I always felt like I look good. I've always felt like I was a pretty girl. Like, not taken away from, you know the heavier me, like, you know, I, I was a pretty girl then, but to see myself like, you know, blossoming in, um, in the light that I thought I saw myself in, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like really, really different. The genuine support that I've been receiving from my true friends and family through this process and this journey is like, I'm just, it's incredible. I'm so appreciative for them. Um, it definitely has been like up and down. It's like, really a completely new body now that I have like my dream tatas like it's really like a whole new body <laughs> and it's definitely an adjustment um you know what I mean I feel I feel some heat from some folk um you know I definitely feel some heat from some folk but that's another conversation for another day like I guess that's gonna come like with it don't know um I definitely do have like a little bit of body dysmorphia like sometimes I look at myself and I'm like oof like you gotta lose some more weight like I do want to lose another like 30 to 40 pounds within um the next like four months once I'm finished healing I'm definitely going to get to it but even outside of that uh 30 to 40 pounds that I actually do want to lose sometimes I'd be looking at myself like Ugh. like you know what I mean like you got you gotta lose this weight like you got like whoa you just you're a hundred pounds smaller, like relax. <laughs> like I be having to tell myself it's really not that deep. Now looking back at my old pictures and stuff, it's like, oh my gosh, like it's almost too much for me to look at like emotionally. Like I let myself go. Like I went through like that much to let myself go, like to get to that point. And it kind of hurts me because I really like neglected myself and like let myself go in a way where it was just like, Dang, like she's not even healthy. Like I'm just so happy to finally be here. I'm really just flourishing. Like the light that I'm carrying right now is just so bright and I absolutely love that for me. Um having like a fear of being that big again is something that definitely like haunted me in the beginning, but I don't have a fear of that because like hell no. Just hell no like not going back like mm -mm. like if I have a day where I feel like I'm eating too much like the next day I'm gonna be like eh, I'm gonna just do some shakes like I'm a nibble <laughs> like I'm scared of that like I'm done with that I'm healthy I'm happy and you know that 
just means everything to me. This isn't going to be a super long video because like I don't really have much to update you guys with. I will be standing up to show you the boards. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching this quick little video. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at the Glass Table Girl. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below.